Hey guys, Demon here, and today we are reviewing Princess Shira, or Shira and the Princess of Power, I guess that's what it's called. Shira and the Princess of Power. Okay, season two, by the way. Okay, so the first season, I did like the first season, except for kind of the ending. They kind of did like this kind of bull crappy ending where they like. <laughs> Where they basically just all joined together and just everything was fine at the end. It was kind of dumb. Um, but this episode was different. It turns out that um, the forces of the Horde are pushing more and more, trying to destroy them, obviously. Uh, so there is lasting consequences. And also, um, the tech girl, I forgot her name. She's still working with the Horde, and they find out she's alive. So that's pretty interesting. And she still doesn't want to stop working with the Horde because she's a, not really a mad scientist, just a scientist that will pretty much do anything to science, <laughs> I guess would be the best term for it. So she's not really like a mad scientist, she's kind of a mad scientist, but she's not evil necessarily. She's just going with the people that have the most technology to allow her to do science. <laughs> Um, this ser this season had less of the princesses in it. It only had, like, the three main princesses in it. Uh, three main characters in it, mostly. Like, it had them mostly in it. Along with some other characters here and there. But mostly it was just the main princess, Is and Bo, I guess. So, it mostly uh, evolved around them. And I gotta say, it's not... As good as the first season was, in my personal opinion, it, it focused more on uh, character building and stuff like that, but not as good as the first one did, uh, especially for, like, Sheer and stuff like that, but it focused on, like, Bo and stuff, which is interesting, I guess, um, and it focused some more on, like, ancient stuff, like, ancient technology and stuff, which is interesting, um, so yeah, it, it, it's, it's interesting, there's still no sign of He-Man or anything, which is sad. I, I wish they would bring He-Man here, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's some things that uh, they discussed. Let me, let me think. What, what are the things that is happening? So, Shira fixed some first world tech. Uh, the, the leader of the Horde, I forgot his name. Uh, it turns out he wants to create a portal to probably another planet somewhere where he can take, I don't know, an army with him back to this planet. I'm not sure. Or go home. I'm not I'm not actually sure what's happening with that. Don't know yet, I guess. Uh, we had a little bit of a reference to the old Shira, which was pretty interesting. Pretty funny. Um, but yeah, man. It, it's turned out to be interesting. It had a better ending than the first season, in my opinion. It had a cliffhanger ending where um, Catra gets caught by the leader of the, the Horde because she lied to him. Uh, even though if I was Catra, I'd just cut off the motherfucker's head, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> just bring a dagger with you and stab the guy. Just saying. Self-defense. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got caught, and, and it turns out there's like these badlands that you can go to. And I'm pretty sure he's probably going to send her to the Badlands. Or, I forgot what they're called, but they're, they're like lands that you can never come back from. So, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to send her there or just punish her severely. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but something along those lines is going to happen. Um, and then, uh, the evil witch, I forgot her name. Oh man, I, I forget everybody's name, don't I? I'm, a, I'm, a bad, I'm bad with names. But then the evil witch, the evil witch that like tortured Catra pretty much and praised Shira, escaped. We got to learn a little bit more of her backstory. She used to have a pupil. We don't know where he is, and we don't know if he's ever going to show up in the actual show. I, I hope he does, because he seems pretty interesting. He was like a really like gifted mage or wizard or whatever you would call it. He was like really gifted, so I hope he shows up. And he, I, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know, but... uh. The evil witch does escape, and she's hovering over Shira at the end. So it's left off on a cliffhanger that will probably be pretty good. So all in all, this season was fair. 
I did not like it as much as I liked the first season, because the first season was like this adventure kind of thing, and this season was kind of like that, but more focused on the characters. I feel like they need a mixture of both of these things. Um, yeah, I just feel like they need a mixture of both of these things, and they need to work on it better. <laughs> And, uh, we saw that, um, the teleporting girl, I forgot her name too, I know, I forget everybody's name except for Shears and Bows and Catra. Okay, I forget everything. <laughs> um, the teleporting girl, she, uh, she's getting a little bit more darker, I guess, but she's not evil, I guess. So, cause she captures, uh, Catra and almost, I don't know, kills her or something. I assume she was gonna punch her in the face or something like that. And I was just thinking, like, she has teleportation powers. That's one of the most dangerous powers you can have. Because you can literally teleport people into the sky and drop them. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying. And and then you can say, like, oh, well, if the person's holding on top of her, she'll have to teleport her, too. But in this same episode, she teleports Bo away from the girl, even though the girl was holding on to Bo, so she doesn't have to teleport her if she's holding on to Bo, right? So, like, if someone's holding on to you and she teleports you, the person doesn't necessarily get teleported. I don't really understand the powers, to be honest. It's kind of confusing, because at first, she had to teleport... Like, at first, the person was holding on to Bo or her, and she had to teleport with that person. But then she teleported without that, like, even though the person was holding on to Bo and she teleported Bo with her, she teleported without that person. It's very confusing. It's very confusing. It was just like, wait a minute, you had to teleport R3 at once? Is that how it works? But then at the end, it's just like, no, I can just teleport us too? It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's confusing. So, I don't know. A uh, little bit confusing there. But interesting, nonetheless. Um... Yeah, like, it's an interesting, interesting season, but not the best season. I suggest watching this, and I hope they improve on season three. But anyways, I hope you liked this review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification because you like my content. Go check out my Twitter. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video because I know I did. But anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, do it because she wants you to. And I do too. So subscribe. Watch the videos. Hit one of these things on the screen right now. Okay. Bye-bye. Peace.